Ladies and gentlemen, if you are in the path of impacts of what will be Hurricane Sally and you're about to go to bed, I do hope you have your plan ready and you have made your full preparations because this storm is blowing up. Look at that. A giant burst of convection happening right now as everybody is going to bed. That is a big burst right there. Did you see that? And the thing is, this storm is now predicted to shift a little more to the east, putting more of Alabama and Mississippi in the definite danger zones. And it is freaking slowing down. Reed Timmer letting people know the shift back east in the GFS and the Euro with a stronger Hurricane Sally with clean landfall along the Mississippi coastline. Don't focus too much on the center because life-threatening conditions will occur southeast Louisiana through Mississippi and Alabama Monday night through Tuesday or whenever it actually makes landfall. Some have even had Tuesday at noon. Wind speed isn't the number one threat here. It is flooding and lots of flooding. Although the stronger the storm gets, the higher the wind totals get, and then the more the storm surge and power outages will be. How strong will it get? My guess the whole time has been Category 2, Category 3. Nicholas Isabella. Never good when the NHC forecast is slowed down. And the new NHC forecast is slower and east. That's bad news, man. Because this thing will be approaching anywhere from like 5 to 4 to 3 to 2 miles an hour. And so the longer time it takes spinning over Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, parts of Florida, that means the more flooding will take place. And wind speeds may be sexy, but flooding is the real killer. Water is dangerous, bro. And Matt Gray is pointing out that Paulette, with the sun up and the sun down, Bermuda is going to have a long night. They're getting hit square on the nose with this thing. I hope they have made their preparations. It's probably too late to fly out of Bermuda. Unless, you know, you have one of those magic alien spaceship planes that the Bermuda Triangle keeps underwater or whatever. Hey, it's the night shift. I've been in a bad mood for... 30 hours. So my bedside manner sm may smell like donkey turds that have been soaking in an ashtray. Brady, you may be asking why the NHC didn't up the forecast. Well, they kind of did in a sense. The circle time in between the last landfall point and 90 miles per hour is a strengthening system into landfall. And that's how it should be viewed. And so we're talking anywhere from 9 to 11 feet of storm surge in a large area. So I'm just doing a quick update because I'm cool like that as your planetary defense commander, Star Lord, New Thor 7 the T, weather geek. It is certainly not a good trend when those vertical hot towers are getting closer to the center. Note the circulation has likely moved since the HH were last in there. So the L is likely not to be in the same spot. Second image. What? That didn't make any sense. But like I said, I'm in a bad mood. Maybe it hurts my brain and I can't think properly. Sally looks to experience a round of rapid intensification soon and has 40 hours over the water to rapidly intensify. And I'm just saying, I've seen tropical storms go from tropical storm to category five in 36 hours. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm just saying that if you are in the path, I hope you are prepared and I hope you have a plan. Let's get some prayers up for the people in Bermuda and for the people in the Gulf Coast. But yeah, whether Twitter agrees, this is not exactly what you want to see right before everybody's going to bed 40 hours before landfall. This is easily one of the most impressive convective blowups he's ever seen from a tropical cyclone. Just amazing to watch happen. Just the raw power. And sometimes I get in a really bad mood and really sad before bad things happen so that might be the case but look at this that system over here is weird and you got this system over here it's weird yeah something really weird is happening
And like I've been saying, I just kind of been waiting for the mid-September 2020 next shoe to drop. Because this hasn't exactly been a year of good surprises. So, everybody stay cool. And I'll be here keeping you guys informed. Unless my mood gets worse. Or, you know, if nothing interesting happens, then I won't keep you guys, I won't say, hey, nothing interesting is happening. I think the odds of that are pretty dang low. And I keep thinking, with all the volcanoes, wildfires, and now the three planets in the ecliptic here, do we have a major earthquake lurking in September? Probably, dude. What a year. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Please stay safe if you can. Peace out.